A carrot is a long reddish yellow vegetable which has several thin leaves on a long stem and which belongs to the parsley family. Carrots are grown all over the world in gardens and in the wild in the fields. So this is like your hearing test just turned upside down. So soft sounds are at the bottom, loud sounds are at the top. We want this line to go through all of those crosses. So essentially everything is there except for this one at the very highest pitch that we test. Yeah. Um, I want to give you a little bit more volume because that can help distinguish with your S and SH sometimes um, and also helps in background noise. Right. So I'm happy with that one. It came up a little bit. I think part of the, like the measurement that I did in your right ear to measure the size of your ear had a little dip at that pitch too. So sometimes that can be a little bit of a red herring. Um, but now you're going to hear a series of really loud beeps. They're supposed to be loud. levels sound to you? They sound much better. Do you notice it's like a significant difference between the soft, medium, and loud? Um, I feel like everything coming at me a good enough level where I can hear. Like, okay. where, like the loud isn't too loud, but the soft is loud enough where with yeah. where it probably much better. Okay, good. Um, do any of those sounds like the S's or S-E-H, T's, are those harsh? Um, no, they're not harsh at all. Not harsh, okay, good. Um, okay, then we'll do the left here. Okay. If you had a volume control, would you change it? Um, I really like it. It's weird hearing my own voice. Mm -hmm. Like it's much, it's very different to hear my own voice. Um, I can hear my lips a lot more. Okay. So, more like I have to think about it a little bit more. Okay. So um, basically, you're. I mean, really, you're just constantly retraining your brain. Um, whatever you hear, uh, that's what you are then going to want to repeat. So if you're noticing that difference now, that's good because that means that you can continue to kind of work on that. And so I would say hopefully over the next few weeks that becomes more natural to you and then you start sounding a little bit better to you too. Um, as far as like what's going on in the middle ears, I hope that's not affecting too much of No, um, I think it's good. Um, like it's really weird hearing my voice. It's very different. <laughs> but like your voice is very, very clear. Okay, good. It's like very different. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a cut through, right through. Okay, awesome. Um, so for your voice, does it seem louder or my voice just sound I don't know I sound like I can actually hear my voice now like it doesn't like almost it feels like it went artificial to like I'm actually hearing my voice okay really it's weird like when you hear your voice in a recording mm -hmm. you think it's totally different than if I'm hearing so you're hearing your actual voice now what you actually sound like yeah now that the right one is on, do you feel like it's, it's a little bit better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the the vent in your ear mold pieces are supposed to keep your ear nice and open. It's not supposed to make you feel like your ears are plugged. Do you feel like your ears are plugged in any sense? Um, kind of. It's going to take a little bit of adjustment, getting used to that. The new, yeah, the new, new fit mold. Too. Okay. Because um, I can also change the sound quality for those bassy tones, which is like the sounds like your own voice. Yeah. Um, so I can kind of mess with a couple of things here and you can tell me if your voice sounds a little bit better. Okay, so if I undo it. I got a little bit louder. My voice got louder. Okay. So is there one that you prefer over, over the other? Um, I just talk through what you change it. Okay. Sure. Tell me your schedule that you have to do tonight or what are you doing um, for band this week? For band, I am, uh, I have practice. And we don't practice Thursday, they practice on Monday, and I don't notice much of a difference. You don't notice that much of a difference? Okay. Um, because basically to fix that issue, we reduce the volume and those low pitches. Um, so I don't like to take away volume, but that it's it's okay to take away little volume and low pitches, because that's where background noise is and your own voice. Yep. So if we're going to give it up, I'd rather give it up there than that pitches. If you had control of, over the keyboard, would you do anything differently? Um, no, I, I like how it is right now. Oh, like, okay. The background noise is just enough like I actually hear a fan going on. Yeah, yeah, the fan is definitely yeah. there. The voice is still very clear though. Okay, good. Does mom's voice still sound normal? Yes. Do I sound the same? Yeah. Do I sound better? <laughs> sound the same. What's the biggest difference you notice? My own voice. I can actually hear my lisp. I can, I can hear myself saying things wrong. So it's more like I'm more self conscious about it now. It's more real life sound. It's more real life. It's clearer. It's like it's, it's like it's your true sound. Instead of uh, artificial. Good. Very neat. Oh, your hearing aids have a few different buttons and gadgets. Um, okay, so on these you have up and down capabilities oh. on both, right. so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you push the up button, it'll turn it up. If you turn or push the, the bottom button, it turns it down. 
um, and that's like a, a quick press. Yeah. So um, with the Phonak Marble, it also comes with this feature where it really emphasizes speech and background noise. Right. Um, again, this is my first time fitting it, so I'm really looking forward to your feedback. You're kind of the perfect one to give me feedback on, right. so yeah. I'll trust your responses there. Um, but it, it, they recommend it as like a separate program, right. so it helps your ability to understand speech whenever there's a lot of noise going on around you. Right. Um, and so, uh, and I also put in a music program just right, to cool. see if you'll yeah. try that out for me too. Yeah. Um, and so, let me see, I can toggle in and out of those programs. So, based on my voice now, now that I'm changing into the music program, did it change? Did it kind of like sound a, a little different? A little bit more of a, a bubble, and my voice got much louder. Okay. Yeah, so it basically tries to give like the, like, I don't know, comedy for all like the melodies and the harmonics and things like that. Would, music yep. and so like in the mid pitches it really kind of gives you like a fuller sound and then it also opens your hearing aids up with the, the microphones of how many pitches it can accommodate okay. and so the goal would be because music uses way more yeah. pitches than our speech does so it's really opening up that microphone to its full capability to accommodate music okay. um, so if you change into that in uh, band and whatever you're practicing at home just kind of let me know even listening to yeah. music okay. um, let me know how it sounds. For sure. Uh, and then there's also so speech and loud noise. It changed the microphone settings, but we're not in loud noise. So and the fan yeah. almost completely cut out. Okay. Awesome. And voice is the yeah. same the I really like that one. Oh, you like that yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> and so um, music is going to be your number two. Right. Um, the speech and noise, loud noise is going to be your number three. Right. Um, so I'll give you those three. We can write them down if we need to.